Today I'm in the city of Jodhpur, and this town is famous for its blue buildings and also for its massive fort, which is right here behind me. Follow me for a couple seconds, I'll take you inside, show you some things, and also give you some great views of the city. The fort really is an imposing structure, and it's topped with these beautiful palaces that are hundreds of years old. As each new ruler would inherit the throne, he would typically build a palace or a temple. And being Saturday today, the fort is actually really crowded. There's a Hindu temple here, and many people are going up to worship at the temple. There was a fierce battle in the 1880s here, and these red circles are surrounding uh, direct hits by cannonballs. You can see the giant spikes on the door here. This is to deter the elephants from being able to push the doors. These hands here all represent the wives of one of the emperors. When he died in the 1840s, all of his wives uh, threw themselves voluntarily onto his funeral pyre and uh, burned themselves alive. And this is still a problem, an ongoing problem in India. Sometimes willingly, uh, sometimes unwillingly, the women, uh, when their husbands die, will uh, commit suicide or be forced onto the people. Here's a sweeping view of the city from the top of the fort. It's a crazy cubist maze. And uh, that color of blue in many of the buildings is our Jodhpur blue. It used to be reserved for uh, high caste Hindus, but uh, now pretty much anyone does it. Most people think it's also uh, effective mosquito repellent. In this view of the city, you can clearly see the dazzling blues painted on the homes and buildings. The town is just a winding maze of uh, narrow roads and alleys. It's so difficult to get around in this place. Well, I'd like to close out my stay in Jodhpur by just relaxing on the rooftop here as the sun goes down. I'm here at a uh, guest house situated in the shadow of the fort, and it's actually in a 500-year-old building. We've had a great time here, and until next time.